Hey guys, uh, Luke here again. Um, so, basically what happened recently is I was using the slitting saw cutting through that bit of aluminium. I got a little bit greedy and ended up breaking the saw, but um, I also managed to break the motor controller <laughs> in the process, which kind of sucks, but um, Stuart from Titan Machinery, uh, I contacted him and he's sending me one on Monday, so hopefully you can get it back up and running again. I did, I was, I'm so impatient, it's not funny, that's probably be the demise of me, but I tried to hook up the VFD from <laughs> my um, 6040 to this motor, um, unlike the G0704 uh, G0, uh, milling machines and BF20s, this one is a three phase brushless motor. Um, whereas the other ones are brushed DC, so uh, basically we I, well, we measured the um, <coughs> the resistance of the windings and made sure they're all connected, they're connected in star, so tried to hook it up, we got it to run, but just can't get it to run right, it gets to like 28 hertz and it just like stalls and makes horrible noises, I tried all sorts of settings on the VFD and I just can't get it to work, so really frustrating because I see guys using them on their lathes on YouTube and all that sort of thing. So there must be something else there. Um, and uh, I tried some settings and the motor got crazy hot so let's back off and get the right control for it. Um, yeah so anyway in the meantime because I can't use the mill I made this enclosure for the table to keep the chips in there so it's made of 12 millimeter thick polycarbonate. <laughs> Actually, $120 worth of polycarbonate probably went a bit overkill there, but um, it is super rigid. Like, if that chucks a tool or anything, you know, it could probably shoot a gun in it and it would be safe. Like, um, if I had a gun, I would try that, but I don't have a gun. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I might put some handles on the front because you can actually just lift this out to get in there. So, easy access, man like a boss. So some handles might be good. I did have to cut like a little recess for the vice so I can still um, put my handle on there and swing that around. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I'll put my little logo on the front and um, I'll get it when the when I get the motor controller back I'll do some test cuts and make some chips hopefully I you know, fill this up and not have them all over the floor. I mean I'll use that fly cutter and stuff which is like the most amazing chip generating in the world, but yeah, I uh, just thought I'd show you my enclosure and uh, hope you guys like it. You know, I hope it works. <laughs> I made it all on the 6040, so 6040 is coming in handy. You know, just use a six, uh, quarter inch um, single flute uh, upcut carbide end mill to do that and breeze through it. So 6040 is still going well. You know, I haven't lost interest completely in that machine. But yeah, um, well, I'll just show you how it mounts and stuff, it's all very simple, it can come off very quickly, so I'll just do some shots of that and, and get a good idea of it. Okay, thanks and uh, I'll uh, update again soon when everything's back up and running.